So we did a little bit of an upgrade and we got these. What's going on you guys and welcome to another video. We are finally changing and replacing headlights. We got the Mustang right there. Got the garage opened up. I've had these headlights for a very, very long time and they've done me well. The only problem is, is that they're very, very dim and you can't really see while driving. So we did a little bit of an upgrade and we got these. Let's open her up. I already opened it because I was excited to see what it looked like. And we got these from V-Land. So these are the V-Land headlights, projector headlights, and that's what it looks like. The DRLs are right here and here. And you got your LED and your high beams right here. I think this is gonna look really, really good. Going further into the installation, I'll put that bad beast right there. So basically this is for the fog lights and the turn signal. And this goes where this is. So this plugs into there. And then this goes into your fog light light. So the um, this will turn into the turn signal as well as if you still have the turn signal, it'll turn that as well. And then this is a add a fuse that's gonna go in the fuse box right there. The main wire harness is right here, which plugs into the main plug-in right there. Should be simple enough. Um, three plug-in things. I think the hardest thing is gonna be uh, putting the fuse in because I have to wire this to both sides of the headlight then up into the fuse box. What I want to go ahead and do as well is I want to get the bumper and put it on the car and see what it looks like with the front bumper and see and get a gist of what it's going to look like when it's all done. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's take these out and then put these in. one out uh, this is to the fog lights and these two wires are from the fog lights that I had way way long ago the halo fog lights that I had right here new if you guys want these DM me on Instagram we got the new headlight I'm just gonna go ahead and plug this right in just like so plug is right there just gonna go ahead and plug her in right that what else do we got to do we got to plug the main harness in which is this right here goes in like that easy enough all right and then the last plug is the fuse all right so i went ahead and plugged this side up so the longer side for this obviously goes to this one because this has to go all the way over there and then this side has the shorter cable to the fuse box so it goes like this it's like an L to adjust the headlight you turn this and it adjusts the LED up or down from factory um, it should be ready to go now it's time to put her in oh well, we got this headlight in it is ready to go just got to put those two underneath bolts in and then we can go ahead and take the wrapper off really don't want to scratch the headlight. All right, we got both headlights in. As far as the directions, I'll show you guys what this is all about. You got the DRL startup animation, the two wires connecting there. I guess if you don't want that, you just cut it. We're just gonna leave that on to see what that looks like. The one that I showed you is the vertical adjusting, and then the other screw up here is the horizontal adjusting screw. Where to throw that fuse, the add a fuse, you connect it to right here in the fuse box. So let's go ahead and open her up. So it'll be that last 15 back there. All right, got everything plugged in. This is kind of what it looks like so far. Let's turn it on, see what it looks like, get a first look. Oh, headlights working. That looks so good, oh my gosh. Those are the high beams. Nice. Now I gotta figure out why the DRLs aren't working, but my switch does not work, so I think that's why. Go ahead and turn it off. Oh, what the? Holy, Alyssa, you gotta see this. Turn right. No, 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 blink left, right? Nothing? So found out why this side didn't work. This wasn't even plugged in. Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, now it should be good. Go turn it. There we go. 
Oh yeah. That looks so sick. All right. Go ahead, do both. That looks so fire. How do you know? Oh. Oh yeah, that's so cool. Now we gotta figure out if my switch is the reason why it's not working. Yeah, the high beams are on. Yeah, everything works. It's just the DRLs don't. Maybe the car has to be on. Um, yeah. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So my switch right here is uh, broke. I accidentally slammed the door on it and it doesn't even turn all the way. And what I need is to cut these. And then I realized I had the whole harness for the 11 to 14 interior dash. And the parts that I need is right here. So I'm just gonna cut this off, rewire it to the three valve one, and then plug it in and everything should work perfectly. All right, it is day number two working on the headlights. Um, I really had to wire in the switches for it to work. I thought it was the switches that were the problem, but I had to do the switches anyways. So that took a long time because I had to rewire literally every wire in order for it to work. It was about like 20 wires. I had to cut and splice all those, rewire the switches, and now the switches work. One other thing that I ran into as far as a problem with these headlights is, I don't know if it's because mine's a coyote swap and I don't use all the fuses that the three valve uses, but uh, you're supposed to put the fuse in right here, this ADA fuse right here. This is for your DRLs and mine didn't work every time I put it in there. However, I did find it to work when I put it into the fog light. If I put it into the fog light one, it'll work. And it gives you a little show when you turn it on. So I found it to work that way, and this is what it looks like. Looks really good. One thing I wanted to tell you guys about these DRLs is that when you turn the headlights on, let's go ahead and turn the headlights on, the DRLs these right here these little bars go dim when the headlights are on and as soon as you turn them off the DRLs go brighter watch this I don't know if you guys can tell if they got brighter or not when the headlights aren't on the DRLs go brighter during the day and at night when the lights are on they go a little bit dimmer all right so now that we got that figured out what I want to go ahead and do is throw a bumper on put it on the car and see what it's gonna look like when it's all said and done. Take the Mustang out of the garage and grab that bumper all the way down there. We got the front bumper. Don't look at it too close because it is still not looking good with that front bumper. But this is an idea of what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Let me go ahead and shut the hood. All right, there we go. If you guys want just the headlights, I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. So it looks just like that. It looks really good. Just the LEDs shining. So if you want to just run it like this, you totally can. Or you can have it set up like this. Just like that. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should I pull her out of the garage and see what she looks like in the sun? Then you're really gonna see the flaws of the paint. But I do need to pull it out and take some pictures to post on Instagram and everything, so I gotta pull it out regardless. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Oh yeah. Pulled the Mustang out of the garage. It is definitely a work in progress with the exterior of the Mustang. These headlights are definitely so sick. I love them so much. There we go. Can't wait to get this thing wrapped and looking good and getting the front bumper all good and ready to go. As you can see, the paint is definitely not looking so good. Neither is that bumper. It will look good once it's all done. Want these headlights, like I said, link in the description down below. VLAN headlights, so sick. Let me turn the turn signal on for you guys. 
So that's what the turn signal looks like. So sick. I love this a lot. And so that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, we have huge, huge plans for this. We're doing a whole engine swap. We're doing the whole exterior, fixing it up. The interior is pretty much all done. Like I said, I got these switches to work. So, as you can see, the lights are on. Got these switches to work. Interior is pretty much all done. I gotta fix something in there. Everything is coming together quite nicely. So stay tuned, we are getting this thing all done and rebuilt. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.